Welcome, my brave souls, to an unforgettable journey into the chilling depths of real-life camping horror. As twilight fades and the moon casts its eerie glow, I shall unveil to tales that will forever haunt your dreams. The group embarks on a seemingly innocent hike. Through a dense forest, the sunlight filtering through the treetops, our journey took us along an ancient trail, surrounded by towering trees. But this picturesque wilderness held a secret and unseen force lurking in the shadows. Watching our every move, the group stumbles upon a moonlit clearing. The air thick with an otherworldly presence. As the sun set, the atmosphere shifted. Whispers filled the night, carried by an ethereal wind. We stood paralyzed, drawn to the clearing by an inexplicable force. Within the confines of our flimsy shelter, we heard it the scratching at the fabric, the unrelenting whispers that crept closer with each passing moment. We were prisoners in a realm where the living and the dead intertwined. The group reconvenes around the campfire, their faces etched with the weight of their experiences as the embers of our fire dimmed. I shall now recount the full tale of the haunted trail. The group seeks refuge in an abandoned cabin, its dilapidated state a reflection of the horrors that lie within. Within the cabin's decaying walls, we confronted the restless souls that once dwelled there. Whispers echoed through the corridors, accompanied by spectral apparitions that sought retribution for trespassing on their haunted domain. The group returns to the moonlit clearing, their fear and curiosity driving them forward. In the heart of that ethereal clearing, we uncovered the dark history that plagued the trail. It was there that we encountered the vengeful spirits, forever trapped in their spectral torment. Me and the group huddle inside the cabin, their faces filled with terror and despair. The spirits were relentless, their malevolence escalating with each passing moment, no matter where we went. Their whispers followed, a constant reminder of their wrath. Me and the group retreat back to the tent, seeking safety from the relentless haunting. In the suffocating confines of the tent, our fear grew with every whisper that seeped through the fabric. Our once united group fractured under the weight of the supernatural presence. Me and one remaining friend, Sarah, stumble through the dense forest, their faces etched with desperation, driven to the brink of madness. Sarah and I attempted to escape the relentless grip of the haunted trail. But the spirits pursued us with an unyielding determination. Me and Sarah reached the edge of a steep cliff, their hearts pounding with fear. Cornered by the malevolent forces, we found ourselves standing at the precipice of our own demise. The whispers grew louder, urging us to join the spirits in their eternal torment. And in that moment, consumed by fear and despair, we made a fateful choice a choice that would seal our fate and forever bind us to the haunted trail. The trail claimed us, my friends, trapping our souls in its ethereal grasp, forever lost, forever haunted by the echoes of those sinister whispers. The group sets up camp at a remote location, surrounded by an aura of desolation. Our footsteps echoed through the deserted camping grounds, as if disturbing a long-forgotten presence, unbeknownst to us. This place was cursed accursed camping grounds, where the sins of the past lurked, waiting to exact their revenge. The group seeks refuge in an abandoned cabin, its dilapidated state a reflection of the horrors that lie within. Within the cabin's decaying walls, we sensed a malevolent energy, an entity feeding off the darkness that permeated the cursed grounds, Whispers of anguish echoed through the rooms, whispering tales of tragic endings and lost souls. Me and the group huddle inside the cabin, their faces filled with terror and unease. The cabin became our sanctuary, a fragile shield against the terrors that awaited us outside. But within its decaying embrace, we discovered that the curse ran deeper than we could have ever imagined. Me and the group descend into the depths of the cabin, their footsteps echoing in the darkness. Beneath the cabin's floorboards, we uncovered a hidden passage and entrance to the twisted heart of the curse. The air grew heavy with a suffocating malevolence. As we delved further into the labyrinthine corridors, me and the group enter a chamber adorned with cryptic symbols and remnants of ancient rituals. In the heart of the curse grounds, we stood in the chamber of forgotten rituals, surrounded by the echoes of the past. 
The whispers intensified, an incantation of darkness and despair, as we realized the true nature of the curse that plagued the camping grounds. Me and the group find themselves in a desolate graveyard, tombstones shrouded in shadows. Within the graveyard, we confronted the restless spirits, trapped between life and death by the curse's unforgiving grip. Their mournful whispers pierced the night, filled with longing and a desire for release. Me and the group returned to the cabin, their faces etched with a mixture of fear and determination. As we retreated to the cabin, we carried the weight of the curse upon our souls. The whispers followed us, a constant reminder that escape from this accursed place was impossible. Me and the group make their final stand against the curse. Their resolve tested to the limit. In a desperate attempt to break free from the curse's grasp, we fought against the relentless spirits, but the darkness was unyielding, consuming our strength and hope with each passing moment, and in the end, we were but pawns in a cursed game a game we could never win. The curse claimed us its grip tightening until we were nothing but echoes in the night. The cursed camping grounds remain, my friends. A reminder that some evils are destined to endure. Beware those desolate places, for they hold secrets that can bind your fate forever.